Imagine that it's time for your kids to get their vaccinations before starting kindergarten, but instead of a reminder that it's time to get their shots, they get nothing. That's what's happening in the state of Tennessee right now. The state has stopped all outreach regarding vaccines aimed at kids. All of this as vaccinations for COVID become more and more politicized. Dr. Jill Garapoli Petter. Lino is a pediatrician and owner of Healthy Kids Pediatrics in New Jersey. She's also the author of The Universe is Listening. Dr. Jill, it's good to see you and have you on. When you hear about this, what's happening in Tennessee, what are your thoughts in terms of what the ramifications of this could be? Well, thank you for having me, Susan. First and foremost, I am a pediatrician, not a politician, and uh, pediatricians are in the the business of preventive preventative medicine. And um, when I hear things like this, it makes me concerned because we work so hard to use the tools we have to help keep children safe and healthy. And when we can't vaccinate or the, the line of communication is broken, it really puts us at risk. Because with my children in their schools, there is yeah. no choice in terms of the vaccines getting ready, thinking a few years back before right. kindergarten now. So to not have that information, not even bringing COVID into this, right, it exactly. could be detrimental. Absolutely it can. And this pandemic set us back so far Understandably so, parents have been hesitant and fearful of coming to the doctor's office, so we've missed a lot of opportunities for normal vaccination. Now, to have things like this happen, um, halting outreach programs will really set us back even further. So it's, it's dangerous. Pfizer is allowing, as you know, kids 12 and older to get the vaccine. Do you see yes. this happening in the near future with younger kids below that age? The vaccine being available, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, early, I think mid to late winter is the is the most updated information I have for for children less than 12. Because trials, of course, doctor, as you know, go into this in terms of testing right. beforehand before getting the OK. Absolutely. And, you know, a lot of people get worried that it is too fast. And obviously, we all know that it is very quick. This whole thing happened. However, we've gotten a lot more people to go into the trials. Um, normally, it takes years for people to sign up for trials and get enough uh, study participants. With this, this year, it's been so different because so many people have been um, signing up. So they're not cutting corners on the testing or their safety or, or the way they're doing the trials. Dr. Sanjay Gupta speaks to that and what you're saying in terms mm. of how fast we've come, how quickly mm. this has happened. Having three daughters, he said, who got the vaccine, they were ready to go, were older than 12, wanting to get it. Dr. Jill Garapoli-Petalino, thanks for joining us. Good to see Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, Susan. You too.